things, and that's important. And uh, like everyone always says, they're glad to be here, but where else, where else would you rather be than in the room with the person who's moving? Provide you with some money, help you maintain and create more money than someone who's going to uh, make sure that you keep that money. And as, as budding entrepreneurs, it's important that, I guess, the main, if you don't get anything out of this presentation this morning, understand that you have a resource in Greater New York Enterprise Corporation. My bio indicated that I had been in the insurance industry for 20 years or more. We started off, the Massey Insurance Agency has been around for about 36 years. We started off in the same place that you started. We did not have, and if you go back calendar-wise, did not have the resources that you have. Because over the years, the economy, as well as other entities had developed to help entrepreneurs. Women, small businesses were an idea. And they were created by individuals like yourselves. You said, okay, what, do, what is it I want to do? Let me sell widgets, whether it be selling insurance or whether it be giving advisory service. The SBA has always been there. They've been there quite a while. But there was a almost a function of the government where the resources that the Greater Newark Enterprise, Newark Enterprise Corporation is, is, is bringing them to you now, where before you had to seek these out. And as Mike alluded to before, as a business person, you do what you do best. And that's usually what you wake up in the morning thinking about and what you go to sleep at night thinking about. And what we want to do is help you think of preserving your business, getting funding for your business, and create whatever it is you create for your business better and more efficiently. When we, when I usually give presentations, the first thing I try to tie it down to is saying, okay, what did I just say? Keep it simple. Get a team to help you. A quarterback, sports analogy, a quarterback is no better than his line. Mm -hmm. He's no better than the running backs. So get a team to help you. And usually the team that we want to get to help you is you need an attorney. From an insurance aspect, you always need an attorney. Because somewhere out there, somebody's going to you have some litigation, as they call it. In other words, you'll be sued or accused of, being, of doing something. Next item, you get an account because your financial books have to be in order. I had an accounting professor in college say, if you don't get your accounting right, you need to point your finger, you will go to jail. And that's what, why you need someone to handle the financial aspects of your business. And then you need someone with the banking expertise, whether it be Citibank or any, any of your branches or other types of banks. You need those individuals to help you do what it is you do. And they said you, you did auditions or you sang. You have young ladies with massage therapists. They're probably great at that. <coughs> But the team helps you, helps relieve that burden from you. And you need that more so today than ever because, because you're out competing. There is more competition, like we said, the X Factor today, that you may not know about the competition. So you need to do what you do the most efficient way that you can get it done and the fastest way that you can get it done. And this is where you need the SBA. Boom will help tell you. When you have your team together, you need to have somewhere to get that financing because all of us start off on, as they say, a shoestring. And when you 
get expertise from the SBA, they are helping you to put your financial package together. The same when you as Greater Milk Enterprise Corporation, get Michael Long. And once you get that package put together, everything else is a little smoother. Because when you come to the insurance aspect, we want to know what kind of experience do you have? First of all, what kind of business do you have? What type of experience do you have? Let us see your financial uh, plan. What do you anticipate doing five years from now, three years from now? And what type of history do you have? Because I doubt if any of you would want to lend someone money or even buy something from someone without knowing who they are and if they'll be here tomorrow, six months from now, or a year from now. Because if you, when you, when someone approaches you, the first thing you do as an entrepreneur, or they've got a widget to sell you, you say, hey, is this a scam? But when you have your package together, and you can use your references, you're saying, I'm not a scam, I'm a business person. And that's what we are trying to <coughs> excuse me, get everyone to understand. And from an insurance in point of view, you also want to identify your business. And a lot of this you will hear over and over from the other panelists. Because when you walk into a room, all you see are people. And the first thing in even networking is from, you always want to know, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Your business should identify you or identify itself so that a person has an idea and then you can define specifically what you do. And you tell me your name again? Gail. Gail, you said you're a singer. Okay, are you a jazz singer? Are you an opera singer? Okay, are you hip hop? <laughs> No. Oh, okay, so that's what I'm saying. You know, you want to get an idea as to what type of singing do you do? Classical. Classical. Mm -hmm. See? So that's what you want your business to do, is to identify you so that, just like you're saying with the X Factor, I was trying to determine how did all these people find out about it. And it's in our backyard, and I wasn't hooked into that network. But it's the... And more people knew about it than I imagine Matt and some of us do. And you want to say, okay, X Factor to me doesn't mean a thing. But if I say X Factor to somebody else, they'll tell me the, all the details as to what it's about. And perhaps X Factor is hooked in or explains itself to that group of people. So when you have your business, you want your business to explain itself. Now once you have, once you start your business, or before you start it, we always tell our clients or prospects, when you have an idea, come to, let's put it this way, when you have an idea, talk to your team, run it through your team, because Oftentimes, we have uh, business people who get contracts and they're honing in on getting that contract. And all of a sudden, they say, we want a contract. Because hopefully, they've gone and gotten all their business plans together. But they forgot one item. How much is the insurance going to cost for that contract? No one will do business with you without you having some security, I use the word security, that they can come back to. <coughs> if I lend you $5, I want to know when I'm going to get my $5 back. <coughs> if you tell me, well, I can't pay you back for six months, then I'll lend you $2. So I'm limiting my risk. That's what people, individuals want to do. 